Hello and welcome to 2 Minute Design. I'm Dage and today we're gonna create this 3D retro text effect. So I've created a background and put some text on a separate layer. I select the text layer and hit Ctrl or Command J to duplicate it. Select the bottom text layer, hit Ctrl or Command T to free transform, then hit the right arrow key once and the down arrow key once and then hit enter. You can barely see it moving, but that's okay, because we're gonna do that again. With the layer still selected, hit Ctrl Alt Shift T or Command Option Shift T. This will create a new layer with the same right and downward transformations. Do that again and again and again, like 8 to 10 times. Then select all these layers, except the one on top. Select the Type tool and change their color to something a little bit darker than the background. Now right click on one of them and convert them to a smart object. Great. Now I'll duplicate this layer using Ctrl or Command J because the one on top is the extrusion and the bottom one is just the shadow. But let's start with the text itself. Double click on it to add a layer style. Check the stroke. Set the color to light gray. And I'll make it around 4 pixels. Set the position from the inside. Now let's add an inner shadow. Set it to multiply, set the color to dark brown, increase the distance, the size, and the choke to around 50%. And finally, you can add a pattern overlay, set it to soft light, and choose the pattern you want. I'll use the artist's brushes canvas, and click the last one here, and hit OK. Now let's work on the extrusion. Double click on it to add a layer style and check the bevel and emboss. Make sure it's set to inner bevel, set the technique to chisel hard, the size to around 60 something, and decrease the highlight opacity to 0%. Also let's adjust the angle and the altitude here. This looks good, so I'll hit OK. Finally, let's work on the shadow. Select it, set its blending mode to multiply, and decrease its opacity to around 60%. Now go to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur. I'll set the angle to minus 55 and the distance to 40 pixels. Hit OK and with the Move tool, adjust the position of the shadow. Great. And that is it. Now let's start the party! 